Last year, I had a lot of people say to me, ABBA, please, more ABBA. And this year, I'm doing more ABBA because they are one of the world's greatest bands ever. They still are. They've written music recently. They've done musicals. Mamma Mia was a tribute to them. All of it. So I decided, everybody, to play this particular song and give you a bio about it simply because it's one of them songs that nobody knows nobody can really sit back and sing like Chikatita or thank you for the music or angel eyes or voulez Vu. they just don't know the song and i thought it's one of those songs especially when it's sung live that deserves credit that deserves adulation and deserves to be remembered because it is a song that is taken way back to be honest from their repertoire but at the same time it's a song that will get you moving get you tapping and that's what my channel is about so I'm going to give you a bio hole in your heart is a rock and roll song by ABBA released on their 1977 album ABBA the album the song was a reworking of get on the Crucial, a number featured in the mini musical The Girl with the Golden Hair, written by the group for the 77 concert tours. Now, get on the Crucial, Abbott explains a good chunk of this. The Girl with the Golden Hair number, Get on the Crucial, can be heard in the Abba, the album track, Hole in Your Soul. Though this is not obvious to everybody, uncensored on the record, they said. The song appears to have been released on, on record by ABBA. It is essentially a reworking of that song. The song was the final number in the musical and according to Bright Lights, Dark Shadows, the real story of ABBA was all about shunning the music business that had made the girl in brackets a star. The song was dropped for the 1977 album because it was considered too repetitive, inappropriate composition of a disc. The digital fixed notes that while the song remains unreleased, it is given a fair hearing in the concert footage seen in the film, ABBA, the movie. Now, later productions, Hole in Your Soul, had their working titles of High in Your Love and Rock and Roll. The song was recorded and remixed on August the 3rd, 1977, during ABBA's 1979 concert tours. The only times that all four ABBA members were grouped together were during the songs Hole in Your Soul and The Way Old Friends Do, which happens to be my next reaction after this. Now, the release Bright Lights, Dark Shadows, The Real Story of Ever, said the high energy level and direct approach of Hole of Your Soul was very much in tune with the singles that had led ABBA, ABBA's breakthrough in brackets Australia in the first place, making it an excellent choice for that market singer Agnetha highest note in the song is a B5 which you'll hear charts billboard explains that due to the rock song hole in your soul ABBA the album was also a hit in the album orientated rock market which is just for reference point an FM radio format created in the United States in the late 1960s that focuses on the full repertoire of rock albums and is currently associated with classic rock, which this is. So that had extensive play on FM play. What did the critics say? Aber Uncensored on the record said that the song was another example of the group proving that they could still rock it in 1977 and describes it as an exceptionally good for its genre. It adds that its use of Benny and Bjorn's, Bjorn, sorry, vocal intermixed with Agnetha and Frida is simple but effective and works well. Abba Abba Gold said that the song had a memorable, memorable, if utterly unconvincing chorus. Now that's a pity. I would argue that. The Los Angeles Times said the song shows the group can maneuver well in more a rock and roll style song. And finally, the Sydney Morning Herald said the song fairly gathers along in the distinctive ABBA rock and roll style, which we'll see. Oh yes, one more. The Registered Guard said the song gives all the singers a moment in the spotlight because they all sing on this particular track. Quite a rarity. I think the one that stands out for me is Does Your Mother Know? I abs uh, When I Kiss the Teacher, I think there are other tracks that include the boy, 
well, the boys, the bo we'll call them the boys, the boys. So let's get playing. And this is going to be one of my shortest reactions to ABBA because it isn't one of those songs where you can really go through the lyrics. I've actually broken it down for you there and then with all that I've said. I'm simply going to give you a three minute wrap up of the song itself, what it means. And we'll finish short and sweet today with my ABBA reaction to the incredible song that is Hole in Your Soul. Take it away ABBA, the live version on stage. absolutely phenomenal and i tell you if they release that now rock and roll has made a surge and so is country music a lot of genres of music that people used to consider old-fashioned has come back 
to bite those critics in the uh, bum. <laughs> I had to think of a polite word there. And the song Hole in Your Heart by Abba, the lyrics looking at them, they explored that idea of music, of course, specifically rock and roll. And has the power to heal and uplift the spirit. After watching that, it certainly does. The lyrics, all they suggest is that everybody experiences moments of sadness, disillusionment in life. Represented by a feeling of, and as the lyrics have in words, bad and having the blues. Now the metaphor of having a hole in your soul can easily be explained because for me it depicts a deep em emptiness or dissatisfaction. And what do you do when you've got a deep hole or, and deep dissatisfaction with anything? You tackle that problem head on, turn the negatives into positives and instead of saying no I can't mend this hole, believe that you can and karma will come round to bless you all and get you through that thanks for listening everybody loved it hope you did too as always don't forget to comment like and subscribe looking forward to my very next reaction which will be soon of ABBA I hope you enjoyed that particular song